Good morning, everybody. So uh, today we are talking about uh, how a logarithm uh, is going to help you to uh, drive the correct approach and the right measure in terms of uh, means to directive. Uh, um, as you know, we have 10 different uh, minimum measures that we need to drive. Uh, so basically, uh, most of them are um, oriented uh, to the process, uh, procedure, and the policies that you need to take in place. So it's a matter of work that you need to do to identify what has been already activated within your environment uh, to improve. But uh, at the same time, in a parallel way, we need to increase our posture in terms of technology and measure that we need to take in place, uh, starting from risk assessment uh, for security handling um, incident uh, and other security technology and measure that we need to take in place. Uh, of course, these activities, uh, and I'm not going to, to enter in each uh, one single details, uh, need to consider the existing environment and the complexity on the, on the environment that you need to, to approach. One of the key things to, to approach in the beginning is the visibility of your environment, being able to understand which is the critical point, which is a critical uh, asset, uh, and which are the, the business uh, um, uh, system and application that is part of your infrastructure. Thinking about uh, that most of uh, most of the time uh, the security issue is coming from internal side because uh, we, we we mistake uh, we we made some mistakes uh, uh, within the configuration. We have to take care about uh, the um, the user and uh, the complexity of the environment that could spread several sites and could spread a, a cloud environment as well. So one of the key points, the initial point, is to uh, understand the existing situation, understand the existing technology already put in place, uh, and uh, identify the procedures and policy that you need to improve uh, to achieve the needs to compliance. So what, what we need to do really to, to uh, be compliance is a structured approach today. So uh, the idea is not just to uh, identify some lack in terms of uh, technology and procedure, but we need to analyze, as I said, uh, the existing situation. Um, identify the vulnerability, potential threat, risk, uh, creating maybe a team so dedicated to the needs to compliance as well. Because we need to define uh, when and, and where uh, we, we want to go and uh, how much time we need to spend around the cybersecurity uh, environment to achieve all the uh, needs to uh, minimum requirements. And of course, step by step, we need to identify the different scenario, the different uh, approach, the different step to improve something that already exists. Uh, to introduce something that you need uh, to achieve the compliance. Uh, and another important thing is to be able to integrate everything uh, in terms of existing solution, existing procedure with a new technology and procedure that you need to take in place. So it's a long, uh, let's say, plan and project uh, uh, that you need to follow step by step uh, to arrive at the end of the year or before the end of the year to uh, achieve uh, the compliance. But of course, one of the things that uh, is uh, it's a little bit tricky for, for all our customers is how I can uh, um, move forward, uh, how we can uh, build a team and uh, uh, identify a well-structured approach uh, to, to, to achieve the compliance. Some of my colleagues uh, uh, has already mentioned some uh, compliance uh, framework like SANS, uh, like NIST. Uh, there are some other... Some other um, uh, framework that could be used, of course, uh, it could be uh, the National Cyber Security Center, ISA 27 and 1. So you, you can use uh, uh, any type of approach that uh, maybe you already use, uh, but most of them are talking about uh, identify threats and vulnerabilities, identify asset risk which is your business environment, business critical application. Because again, the first step is to understand ourselves, to identify and provide to ourselves the entire visibility in order to have a world picture regarding what we need to uh, consider, we need to approach. 
the second step, of course, is to start into uh, protect our environment. Uh, um, that is a mix between technology again, uh, because we can introduce some uh, new technology uh, that could drive the needs to compliance, as well as uh, we need to improve or increase the level of processes and procedure and policy globally uh, to to uh, to apply the right governance level around all the cybersecurity issues. Of course. Identify risk, identify threats, vulnerabilities, being able to have a global visibility, but at the same time uh, to protect our environment and make it more secure is a matter to detect and to respond. So we need to um, have the, the right procedure, but uh, we, didn't, we didn't need to have the right platform and technology to be able to detect uh, all the potential threats potential attacks uh, and being able to react uh, rapidly. Um, in this case, uh, the capability to aggregate all the events coming from the uh, application, network devices, uh, uh, infrastructure in general and cyber and cybersecurity application and devices as well is uh, crucial to being able to detect something and in, to, to correlate uh, uh, events uh, and being able to identify some uh, strange behavior coming from external and more uh, more often from the internal user behavior and being able to respond and to react uh, to fix the problem. Of course, uh, providing uh, the, the, the right step and the right procedure to uh, manage the security incident as well. So all the, the framework that we can use uh, almost drive uh, those uh, five uh, pillars uh, that is crucial to identify, to better protect our environment, uh, to detect and react immediately to a potential cybersecurity attacks uh, or in general cybersecurity issues. Logridom has uh, today three different platform uh, within our portfolio that is mainly related to the CM sort technology. Uh, we will have a CM technology on on prem, and Axon is a uh, our cloud uh, CM solution. But to provide the world visibility in terms of uh, data that could uh, uh, be transferred within infrastructure, we do need to analyze the network as well. So we we have a network detection platform that is able to capture all the traffic that uh, is crossing your infrastructure and being able to detect some anomalies. Uh, and some potential uh, issues could drive a, a thread or attacks as well. And for each single pillar I was mentioned earlier about the NIST the cybersecurity framework, uh, we have some capabilities and features could drive and could help uh, to address the NIST2 compliance. As I, as I said at the beginning, we do need to provide uh, visibility. One of the, 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 the initial steps is to identify automatically all the assets involved in our infrastructure and being able to identify which kind of uh, traffic, uh, which kind of events uh, they, are, they are generating. Logridom has a technology that is able to identify based on asset and uh, events uh, the level of risk. This is one of the key components of the NIST 2 compliance. Identify the risk and the, the risk exposure for each single asset within your infrastructure. And when I said asset, it's not just only uh, technology stuff, it's users as well. So qualify the user and their behavior could be a, a, a normal behavior or could be a, some uh, uh, deviation from the baseline is in, is a, is a crucial to identify what is going to happen in your infrastructure. Of course, uh, we are able to protect uh, the infrastructure as well because uh, we do have some component within the entire solution portfolio that is able to identify anomalies, uh, identify malicious activities within uh, the user behavior as well as uh, on the network. Uh, due to the network detection capability that we have, and we can react uh, through the automation response. So the key of our solution is more around uh, the capability to detect uh, correlate events, because we, we, we deploy a CM platform, basically. We can uh, do deep uh, 
analysis uh, regarding the uh, entire traffic crossing the infrastructure. And uh, for each detection, we do provide rules, uh, predefined rules or custom rules that could generate alarms. Uh, and based on those alarms, we can switch on the response phase. Response is mainly around uh, capability to identify uh, if uh, there is a real security incident, so, so we can use the case management capability included in our platform uh, to be able to collect all the evidence, uh, include some colleagues in order to react rapidly through a process, uh, and of course, uh, using the automated capability to automate uh, all the tasks that is needed to fix uh, and promptly fix uh, the, uh, the security issues. Of course, all the all the platform as a collaboration capability. Uh, we are talking about dashboarding. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, reports uh, uh, that could help uh, to identify again risk, uh, incident, and all the elements that could drive to protect better your environment. This is uh, the main uh, purpose uh, uh, of the solution or the technology solution in general. But at the same time to drive uh, the to uh, needs to uh, compliances achievement. Just to give an example, this is uh, our dashboard uh, that has been created uh, for the needs to Andorra uh, compliance. Uh, and as you can see, we can present immediately data that are collect collected automatically by the platform uh, in order to identify which, is, uh, which are the observer thread, the observer vulnerability, but we can cross information around severity and risk uh, against uh, host, IP address, users, and we can cross as well uh, vulnerability information. All those information managed by the platform could be used to uh, better understand which is your situation, not just in order to identify generic threads, but to drive priority compared to the exposure risk uh, presented for each single user or each single uh, host or services in general. NIST 2 is uh, one of the minimum requirements is regarding the multi-factor authentication. Even on those cases, we can uh, detect uh, uh, events regarding the authentication phase, uh, identifying users and processes uh, that has um, a negative impact, uh, let me say, around uh, the authentication process. So everything could be collected automatically and presented uh, in a very clear format automatically as well. So you will have in a single dashboard all the elements to understand if it's something is urgent, something is critical, you, you, you have a high level of risk exposure, and then you can drive the right uh, countermeasure again, using your team, your SOC team, but as well using automation capability within the platform. Of course, to manage all the logs and events that could happen in your infrastructure, as I was mentioning, uh, we have uh, several rules uh, that could detect automatically some uh, malicious or potential malicious activities. Uh, and uh, this detection is going to generate an alarm, uh, but automatically we are able to generate uh, an incident as well. So the case management uh, capability that is uh, totally included in the platform uh, um, is uh, provide us the possibility to create an incident that is another measure of NIS2 compliance as well, where we have all the elements uh, that uh, help the SOC team and the security analyst uh, to start uh, the um, investigation phase, identify which logs are going to generate the alarm, which activities has been detected related to which events, which host, which user for a prompt activity uh, of repair and restore a normal condition. So Loridum could help you to apply what we used to, to call a holistic view, uh, a single point where all the events could be collected related to uh, or your server or your uh, uh, security application devices, uh, everything could be collected automatically. And uh, the capability that we have into the platform to detect automatically some events uh, 
could drive you to reduce uh, a time that is needed to analyze all the information that is pretty impossible in a complex environment that we are facing today to identify um, threats, vulnerability, but again, trends of vulnerability generate risk and the risk exposure is something that needs to be addressed rapidly. So our solution is able to reduce or to help you to reduce the time to detect and the effort you need uh, to provide investigation on, on the wall uh, information that you're going to collect and help you to reduce the risk exposure as well. At the same time, in parallel, we are going. You are going to improve uh, the time to remediate, uh, basically because we have those vis visibility, but we can use automation capability to react rapidly and close the gap uh, in terms of security and cybersecurity issues. So the idea is to being able to collect all this information, being able to uh, react. Uh, uh, quickly and uh, fix the issues because, uh, again, around the NIST 2 compliances, all the technology you, you can use and uh, your methodology and process uh, should help you to shift left. So moving from uh, a behavior that is normal reactive uh, because we detect something and then we react uh, to a preventive approach because we do have the capability to detect something that could be anomalous uh, and of course, react automatically to close uh, any, any issues and uh, reducing the exposure of risk. Thank you so much.